My name is Kyle Carr, and I'm from Indy Atlantic, Florida. Throughout my whole life, I've been seeking to fill this void in me, and I've been trying to do it in all the worst ways. Uh, partying, alcohol, girls, I've just been seeking to fill myself with these temporal things. It doesn't sustain me, it's never enough. And the only thing that is, is Jesus. The moment where I really felt God acting in my life was a few months ago when I was driving home from school. It was about 3 a.m. in the morning, and I was about 30 minutes from home when I fell asleep at the wheel. I ended up fishtailing and going sideways. I remember the moment when my brain said to my whole body, this is it, and I was 100% sure I was about to die, and I hit headfirst into the median. I woke up in a daze, and I was kind of shocked at what happened, but I didn't have a scratch on me. I knew that was not by my, my own actions, but by God's. Before the accident, I would say to myself, oh God, here, here, I'm yours on Sunday, but I don't, I don't need you on Friday because I got this party to go to, so I don't, I don't really want you then. After the accident, I was trying to be seeking after God trying to know Him more and know His will for my life. I've always been struggling with what's my purpose? What is something I can do for God? Romans says, there is no one righteous, not even one. There is no one who understands, no one who seeks God. All have turned away. They have together become worthless. There is no one who does good, not even one. And then if you flip to Romans 5, 7 to 8, it says, very rarely will anyone die for a righteous man, though for a good man someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. We were more than just unworthy of God's salvation. We were his enemies through our sin. But he loved us so much that he would still send his son to die for us. And that is such a sacrifice. And the love that shows is perfect. And perfect love drives out fear. So because of Jesus, I'm not fearful of death or dying or sacrifice or anything because I know I have Him at all times.